بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين My brothers and sisters in Islam It's now been almost two weeks after Ramadan And people after Ramadan are of two types There is a type of people that completely stop their worship altogether No more Quran, no fasting, no sadaqat, no dhikr, no attending the masjid uh, The obligatory prayers, they miss some, they attend some and such people are people that only know Allah Azza wa Jal in Ramadan. And after Ramadan, they do not know who Allah Azza wa Jal is. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal protection, and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide such people. And there's another type after Ramadan that excel in their worship, and they advance, and they notice small changes in their life when it comes to worships and matters that Allah Azza wa Jal loves. And I want to help you by sharing with you a principle that al-ulama rahimahumullah would speak in terms of how does a person remain consistent upon worship after Ramadan. Fa, yani the likes of al-imam Ahmed and other uh, a'immah in Islam, other scholars in Islam, inspired by their words, they made a beautiful standard. And if you memorize this standard and work towards implementing it in your life, this is how you can remain upright and firm and committed and steadfast after Ramadan. This standard says, اجعل لك في كل مضمار قدرة به تبدأ ومنه تنطلق وإليه تعود Very simple العلماء رحمهم الله said Make for every matter of worship a standard for yourself Make a standard So when it comes to reading Quran This is a worship Make a standard In terms of how much are you going to read every day And what time are you going to read Make a standard for yourself Say I'm going to read uh, one juz after Fajr, I'm going to read half a juz. I'm going to read two pages of the Quran after Fajr, and I'm going to read the explanation and the tafsir of it. And I'm going to do this. That's your standard. Now, you start with this standard. If you find energy at certain days, then you increase and you read more than two pages, more than your standard. And if you don't find energy on a particular day and you feel lazy, and you're turned away, then at least you don't go under your standard. So you'll continue to read those two pages of the Qur'an that you're committed to. And so the same thing we'll be saying for fasting. Commit to something, make a standard. You're going to fast Monday, khalas, because what, there's Monday and Thursday, and the best of the two days is Monday. So if you want to fast Monday, set a standard, that's it. If you find energy during the week, that you want to fast more than the Monday with Thursday with it, then do so. And if you don't find energy during that week, then you do Monday and you don't drop, you don't go underneath this standard. For this is what you're supposed to be doing for yourself. Set a standard. And so you do this with the night prayers, with sadaqat, and with every other worship you know. And understand that the point after Ramadan is that you remain consistent upon the worship and that you do not cut it all together. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَحَبُّ الْأَعْمَالِ إِلَى اللَّهِ أَدْوَمُهَا وَإِنْقَلْ The most beloved deeds to Allah are those that are consistent even if they were small. Consistency is the main thing, doesn't matter. It's not about how much you worship Allah. It's about what are you going to do that's going to be consistent of worship. And this is something that Allah loves. So, if you're consistent in your worship, even if it's small, then you are ready for death because you are on a path that Allah loves. And remember, my brothers and sisters in Islam, this path to Allah Azza wa Jal is long. It's going to be for as long as we are alive. There are some people on this path that are running to Allah and they got energy and they worship. There are some people walking, some people are crawling. You know, people are on all sorts of levels. But it doesn't matter what level you are. As long as you're on this path, you're consistent, you keep moving forward to Allah. That's what Allah Azza wa Jal loves. And if you're consistent, you are prepared and ready for death. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us firm and committed upon Islam. We ask Him subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the ability and the strength to continue to worship Him until the day we meet Him. Wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een.